for over a year and a half now, uh, Jack has learned uh, art history from me. Uh, one time I was down in Indianapolis, I was babysitting for them, <clears throat> and um, I happened to be at that time teaching an art history class and uh, online, and I was uh, looking at some painting, and he came across or he came past the laptop and saw me working. He said, "What are you doing, Papa?" And I said, "I'm teaching art history." And he said, "Well, what is that?" And I said, "That's a painting by a famous person." And at this point, I don't remember which painting it was. And I was explaining how these painters painted and why they painted. And so he toddles off. Ten or fifteen minutes later, he comes back to the uh, me in the laptop. And uh, he sees another painting. He wants to know about that painting. And that began the legacy of learning for Jack at that time. And then a couple of years later, Owen came along. Uh, actually, this is the uh, kind of their textbook that I made for them. And uh, this picture of a uh, self-portrait of Van Gogh. And uh, he knows the names of these paintings. You come across this one, and the vast majority of Americans don't even know who painted this or what the title is. He knows that's Starry Night over, Starry Night over the Rhone, and he knows this one is Starry Night. Uh, there's not a child that's four and a half years old in all the United States that knows as much about art history as he does. He, he's familiar, I mean, he can, he names um, probably two or three dozen different Van Gogh paintings. He knows uh, William Turner, who uh, painted a very famous fight that called, a painting called The Fighting Tumor. Um, he knows Mark Chagall, I in the Village, I've written about that and The Fighting Tumor before. Um, Leonardo uh, Vermeer, uh, Rembrandt, uh, and the list goes on. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to me how excited he is. And then uh, we kind of branched out and included some dinosaurs. And then it dawned on me that we're really not teaching art history as much as the arts and science. Um, And uh, this particular day, uh, we were teaching uh, biology, marine biology 101. Um, and and you know, trust me, it is absolutely fun to try to help them understand um, what we're, we're dealing with at that particular time. I mean, it is, it is absolutely one of the best things that can happen to you to, to have a child, a small child, be so inquisitive about something uh, that often adults uh, kind of write off. That being said, what is even more fascinating is to kind of sit back and while you're doing this, and then kind of watch their learning process. Jack has kind of almost an innate instinct to say why. Why to everything? Why does this happen? And if you can't explain to him so he can understand why it happened, why this painter painted this or why this was done this way, he'll come back to you and say, but why? And you better come up with some answer um, that would satisfy him. Uh, Owen, who is uh, two and a half years old now, Jack is four and a half, Owen is two and a half. And Owen is excited about this also. But you listen to the way a two and a half year old processes something. You'll explain something to Jack or you'll explain something to him. And if you're quiet, you'll hear him say after you said, um, uh, I in the Village uh, by Mark Chagall. I'll say, that's I in the Village by Mark Chagall. And he'll say, 
quietly to himself, Mark Chagall. And it's like he's storing it in his hard drive. Then when he becomes three and a half or four and a half years old, he'll be able to retrieve that. It is, it is a fascinating experience. Um, parenthetically, uh, since I'm teaching at the college level, uh, I would like to have all my students be as enthusiastic about their learning as two young toddlers who live in Indianapolis. Um, but I hope that you enjoy this article. And, you know, or really beyond that, I hope that you find either your children or your relatives' children or neighborhood kids, young, particularly young children who have not kind of um, gotten tired of education and then just feed them information that they want to know about. Um, art history, we're going to history, we're going to the, 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 uh, the sciences. Um, it is a great experience. Hope you enjoy the article. Thank you very much for reading it, though. Goodbye.